With New Mexico being an open carry state, gun laws are a controversial topic. The Albuquerque Journal conducted a poll and will release results on gun control in Sunday's edition. So in the journal poll, we asked likely voters whether they support or oppose raising the age to purchase semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15. KOAT's political expert Brian Sanderoff says most voters were in favor of it. New Mexico State wants to raise the minimum age to buy a semi-automatic rifle. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And let's talk about this. What seems to be a trend across the country, New Mexico has jumped into the fray by stating that well, the government there wants to raise the minimum age for buying semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21. So a little bit of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up so we get the full context of what's going on here. So for the past week, our partners at the Albuquerque Journal have released polls on various topics affecting New Mexicans leading up to that November election. In Sunday's edition, voters were asked questions related to gun control. Reporter Faith Abuanu has a preview of those results. When New Mexico being an open carry state, gun laws are a controversial topic. The Albuquerque Journal conducted a poll and will release results on gun control in Sunday's edition. So in the journal poll, we asked likely voters whether they support or oppose raising the age to purchase semi-automatic rifles like the AR-15. KOAT's political expert Brian Sanderoff says most voters were in favor of it. The poll results conclude at 72 percent in total. New Mexico does have a strong gun culture and many New Mexicans would oppose diluting the Second Amendment and our constitutional rights. But when it comes to raising the age, to purchase a semi-automatic rifle such as an AR-15, we find that the vast majority of likely voters support it. However, 21 percent of New Mexicans are not on board. Zachary Fort, president of the New Mexico Shooting Sports Association, believes lines are blurred when it comes to legal rights. When do we become legal adults? Is it at 18 or is it at 21? Because traditionally, under American law, we become adults at 18 years old. You know, you can serve in the military. You can go to you can go to the Middle East to die for our country at 18 years old, but yet you cannot. You have to. You would have to wait until 21 to buy a firearm to defend uh, your family. Miranda Vascali, co-president of New Mexicans to Prevent Gun Violence, says otherwise. We're 100 percent in support of it, and are hoping that will happen this next legislative session. What we really want to do is. Make make sure that we're looking at the lethality of those of certain weapons. Um, and if right now in New Mexico, when you turn 18, you can possess a rifle. So all this all this law would do would make it so that we would raise that age of semi-automatic rifles and assault weapons. That means you can still, you know, when you turn 18, get a hunting rifle. This has nothing to do with that. But it's those more those Weapons that are much more lethal and don't belong in the hands of an 18 year old. Faith Ibuanu, KOT Action 7 News. You heard that and you saw that. Now, what I find interesting is at the age of 18, you can go to war. You can be sent off to another country, as you heard a gentleman say, and fight the country and die. But you can't buy a semi automatic rifle when you come home. And it's funny, the same people who say that. 16 year olds are mature enough to vote, but 18 year olds are not mature enough to buy a, a firearm. It, it's kind of funny how they play that game, but I'm gonna jump in here. And this is from a local affiliate, KOAT. This is New 7 out of New Mexico. Title, New Mexico Organizations Differ on Gun Control Stance. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Over the past week, our partners at the Albuquerque Albuquerque Journal have released polls on various topics affecting New Mexicans leading up to the November election. KOAT's political expert Brian Sanderoff said the majority of voters were in support of raising the age to purchase semi-automatic rifles. Polls show 72% of voters supported legislation in New Mexico to raise the age from 18 to 21 to purchase an AR-15 style semi-automatic rifle. 21% of voters oppose it. 
As you heard him say, New Mexico does have a strong gun culture and many New Mexicans would have opposed diluting the Second Amendment in our constitutional rights and offset. But when it comes to raising the age to purchase a semi-automatic rifle, such as an AR-15, the vast majority of likely voters to support it. Zachary Forth, you heard him speak, president of the New Mexico Shooting Sports Association, said he thinks the lines are blurred regarding age limit. Quote, my organization is opposed to a measure that removed rights of American adults who are aged 18 to 20, he said. When do we become legal adults? Is it 18 or 21? Because traditionally under American law, we become adults at 18 years old. You know, you serve in the military, you can go to the Middle East to die for our country at 18, but you will have to wait until 21 to buy a firearm to defend your family. Miranda Viscoli, you heard her also, co-president of New Mexico to prevent gun violence said otherwise. And you heard her pretty much, this is a quote from her, and you saw it in the video, we're 100% in support of it, and we're hoping it will happen in this next legislation slash session. What we really want to do is make sure we're looking at the lethality of certain firearms. Now, that's kind of stupid. You heard him in the video say, oh, you can go out and buy a, a rifle for hunting, some of which are semi-automatic. And that's okay, but you can't buy an AR-15 as if the lethality of a hunting rifle is lessened because it doesn't have a pistol grip or a collapsing stock or just doesn't look like the traditional M16 that is used in the military. Very, very backwards thinking. Right now in New Mexico, when you turn 18, you can possess a rifle. So all this law will do and will make it so that we could raise the age of sem age of semi-automatic rifles and assault weapons. That means you can, you can still, you know, when you turn 18, you can get a hunting rifle. This has nothing to do with that. It's those weapons that are much more lethal and don't belong in the hands of an 18-year-old. Because the 30 out 6 hunting rifle is less lethal than the 223 Era 15. Okay. Sandroff said voters were also asked if they would support a measure that would make it a crime if a firearm were not safely secured from a minor. I think you should secure your firearms, but it shouldn't be up to the government to make laws for it. Quote, yes, we need to make sure that children are taught how to responsibly handle firearms and when people do things that endanger children, that those people are punished for it. And once again, these are the same people who say that, that a 12-year-old girl can go out and get a double mastectomy because they believe they're a boy. That's okay. But I'll know, this is another subject, but Fort said, but we don't think we necessarily need a law to prosecute people who create these types of situations that are irresponsible. The law already exists. We can prosecute people under existing law. That's our position on it. What we know with school shootings, majority of those firearms come from the home. So it's a simple fix, Scully said. It won't stop every school shooting. It won't stop every kid from getting their hands on a firearm. But this could do a lot in making sure guns don't end up in the hands of children. For children. I assume that's what they meant. And you saw the poll. Now, once again, the poll, it, how many people did they poll? What is the population of New Mexico? How many people did they ask? What are the leanings, political leanings of the people that they asked? You know, polls are very, you know, subjective and inaccurate a lot of the times. But we don't need more laws. We don't need more laws. We need people to be more responsible and you can't force someone to be more responsible and that's unfortunate. But when you start to get the government in to basically regulate every aspect of your life, it becomes an authoritarian ideal. Now there's a uh, lawsuit right now, I think it's Delaware, who has this same rule where you have to be 21, where a person who I think is 19 is actually suing the state of Delaware over this law. So that's gonna set a precedent for a, other laws like this one in New Mexico, I believe Michigan is trying to do the same thing, raise the age, New York raised the age, Illinois raised the age. So this Delaware case will set precedent over this. But I once again say, when does a person become an adult? Is it now 21 or is it the traditional 18? And once, you know, once again, as, as I pointed out, they want, you know, they had no problem Having 16-year-olds, they want the 16-year-olds to vote because they're mature enough to vote. But you got to be 21 to be mature enough to handle a firearm. Just, just doesn't jive. But let me know what you think. 
As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.